everybody, it's Brian with you from the Gamecom, and we are playing some more Battletech. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know I am very much uh, having a dilemma right now. I really, really, really want to do the priority mission just because I feel like we should just knock it out. Uh, the problem is, is if we go to navigation, it's not really a problem. But if we click here and we see where the priority mission is, it actually would take us right through uh, this uh, abandoned world or this abandoned system, which is actually where our other two missions are located or other two contracts right now uh so it's like so we have to travel through these systems anyways part of me is like well shouldn't we just knock them out since they're on the way the other thinking too is when you look at the priority mission it says and prepare yourself commander after this drop we will be at war so that scares me that we might not be able to finish these missions uh once we do the priority mission because hey maybe we're at war with them i highly doubt it because wasn't the magistry of cannabis actually the ones helping us so that's where I think we should probably knock out these two, as much as I hate to say it. What's funny is, so this one makes more money, has more salvage, but it's easier. So this is a battle, and it's in the Highlands. Within the last three months, the Capellan Confederation has struck our facility personnel and supply convoys over a half dozen times. My superiors in the Magistry leadership would like to even the score. We'd like to hire you to, fill, uh, to find a Capellan lance and destroy it to demonstrate we're not without military resources on Liguin. So... Okay, this one's gonna take 17 days to get there. Let's look really quick. What's our time frame looking? In 17 days, everyone will be back and we'll be good to go. <laughs> so, as much as I hate to do it because I really wanna do uh, actual priority missions, I think we go and we launch this one, we negotiate it. <clears throat> I think once again, we do two salvage. And I think we'll actually take plus three. I mean, 193 is pretty ridiculously. Uh, good. That's still a lot of money. The two salvage allows me to grab uh, any potential mechs that we might have. Um, if there's a brand new mech, that would be rather unfortunate because we might miss out on all three, but we do have one part to a quick draw. We have two parts for a fire starter, although I don't think I'll grab one. Panther we might end up using because isn't this guy 55? No, he's only 35. Fire starter was 35. Don't we have one that's 55 potentially? I thought there's another one that's potentially 55. Oh, wait, that's what the numbers are, Brian. God, yeah, 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 right here, the Wolverine. And then also, too, a Shadowhawk. We might be able to grab another one. So we're looking for, hopefully, another quick draw, but we might grab a Wolverine. I don't think I really want another Shadowhawk, because we have one. I mean, the nice thing about having a second Shadowhawk is, once again, we can do the thing where we equip one to be more of a, uh, uh, a battle mech, one to be more of an assassinate mech, and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll roll with two parts. I think it's still the best option. So we want you. Got 600 freaking max pay. That's ridiculous. The other thing to keep in mind is it takes like 32 days to get to our other uh, mission, our, 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 our priority mission. So that's like an entire month finances right there. So I think I might as well come here and knock out a couple missions while we're here. And we'll get a little bit of uh, rep bonus. So sure, let's go hop on it. And we'll travel over there. Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but we'll have our A team back with our brand new mechs. So that's going to be awesome for us. So then do we want to switch out? Decker and give him the lighter mech or keep the lighter mech or give him the heavier mech I think we're gonna end up giving him the heavier heavier mech. We'll have to see we may actually want to adjust One of our heavier mechs potentially. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's wait for the uh, mech to be done And then we can take a quick look at everything and see exactly what we want to roll with Let's turn our volume up because this, this game's a little quieter in my ears than some of the other games. I love the music too, it's really good. Okay, so crew is ready for the next job. So let's, uh, we are paused. Let's go to Bayes. Uh, so we now have the Centurion. This is our first medium mech. Not quite heavy, but you know, pretty medium. So heat efficiency is okay. He's got quite a bit of firepower. Let's compare our, that to our Blackjack. You're at four firepower. You're at three firepower. You're at three firepower. You're at three. So yeah, he's significantly more powerful than anything else. So we definitely want to put ourselves in here. Uh, we're going to put then Glitch in our Blackjack because it does the second most amount of damage. So then that means we have a uh, Shadowhawk we still want because that's our tank. We'll still want to keep Behemoth there. So then that means do we want to put... You have five move movement where you have ridiculous amounts of movement. Why do you have so much movement? So I think maybe let's go ahead and refit our Vindicator then. 
And let's make this a little more mobile. We have quite a bit of heat sinks right now, which I think, oh, and you have the PPC. Eh. So I'm actually thinking, how many PPCs do we have? Is this our only PPC? I think we take the PPC off. I really do. And I think we're gonna put the PPC then instead on our quick draw. Not our quick draw, our, my tank, my mech, my original mech. And instead, let's go with the jump jets because we wanna give you movement. Now the jump jets don't actually increase your movement. So the movement range is still gonna be pretty terrible on him. Hmm. So in that case, I think we still roll with this. Uh, it's gonna take four days. You know what? No, 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 let's clear, let's clear. Let's undo everything. And I just wanna remove the PPC. Which should take one day. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Okay. And then we want to put the PPC, I think, on our blackjack. Instead of some of the other ones we have. That's probably going to suck from a heat efficiency standpoint, but we will see. Uh, so let's go back to the leopard. Let's let the one day go by. No, actually, it's done already. Eh, all right. Oh, so it's just warning me it's under tonnage. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So we want the PPC over here. So instead of the medium laser, I think let's throw a PPC. And God, our heat efficiency is complete crap. We need more heat sinks. So maybe less jump jets, or maybe we just get rid of one of these other lasers. The nice thing about the blackjack is it's so good at just like murdering things at close range. You know what, hold up, let's go back. What about putting the PPC on our new one, on our Centurion? You have the AC-5. Do you, where, where are your lasers? You have a single laser there. Woohoo! Dang. Yeah, that's nasty. God, I don't want to lose the PPC, though. It's so good at just murdering tanks. Oh! So then, what about putting it on our Jenner? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah! Because we always keep them at range, so do we really want all these medium lasers? I think I would much rather have PPC and then maybe long range? Or these are just large rangers, but still. Wow. So all four medium lasers don't equal the PPC. It has seven tons, where each of these are what, one I'm assuming? Dang. So we almost have to build a mech around the PPC. So once again, if we did put it on the blackjack, I'm sorry this is taking so long. If we did put it on here, we were probably gonna have to get rid of all the medium lasers, which means it's just not gonna be as efficient at close range. It's probably gonna have more armor, but it just won't be efficient as just blowing things up. So you know what? I think we're gonna roll without the PPC. And that scares me, that scares me. Because I really, really, it's just so high damage. It's just so good at just, like, high damage. Let's try it without it for the time being. We may end up just wanting to put Glitch then instead back on, um, I know we did just spend the time and money to unequip it, but we may just want to put Glitch then back in the Vindicator. Hmm. Drinking my coffee, but yes, go ahead and proceed. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um... We want the Blackjack, we don't want the Vindicator. We want you here, and then we're gonna switch me and Glitch. So, we also don't want Medusa. We want Behemoth on our Shadowhawk, because she's slightly better. We got Decker on the Jenner, which is our lightweight. I just, I don't like the movement range on it. That's why we ultimately, I mean, here's the thing. We could always roll with the Vindicator and not take the Jenner, because the Vindicator has a little more armor. It's a little heavier. Let's just go with the slower speed. Let's just go with the slower speed. He'll live. So we want weapons. We want lasers. And 
Does it actually take a day? No, it's going to take 10 days to put it back on. All right, well, we're going to do the mission without it then. <laughs> I should have left it on. I should have left it on. Bad mistake. It's okay. Let's go ahead and launch the contract. We'll keep the lighter one out and see what happens. Uh, you are going to be the Centurion. It's going to go here. The Blackjack is going to go here. And we're going to launch as is. No, 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 because we want Behemoth instead of Medusa. Okay, let's deploy. Let's get into this mission. It's only one and a half uh, skulls, so it's not too terrible compared to some of the things we've done. But we'll go there. And we still have the Jenner, so that means we still have quite a bit of move, uh, mobility. So if they want to show military strength here in Luguin, we can do that for them. Cool. Yeah, we know about reserving, destroy enemy forces. Okay. And this one had Highlands, too. The problem is, like, the Jenner's great, but we just can't afford to take hits with it. So that's why we've always been in the situation where we're going with, um, we're keeping them kind of far outside the fight. I wish, I mean, I guess we could have disarmed him a little bit. Whoa, what's the water do? Increase the unit's heat seeking. Hmm, nice. It also reduces movement. Uh, where are we headed? Destroy enemy units. Not that far away. Good to go. So I think let's uh, just go ahead and jump jet you up here. I love being able to just jump jet through half the map. It's so nice. Yeah, we're actually on the corner of the map, so I'm fine with that. Who is going to have heat issues? Probably me. And Glitch. Oh, you need a brace. So we'll keep Behemoth up here. And she's behind, so that's fine. I can only get two sprint because of how terrible I am. Unless we jump jetted. Yeah, we might as well jump jet. We're in the water. All right, so you're going to brace. Downside with jump jetting is we have to actually say, brace. Do we want to move forward this turn and actually spot, perhaps? Should probably start with our uh, frontline units. So remember, we're actually heavier than anyone else. Warriors, show them what you've got. He did move. He already moved. Now let's reserve and let's make sure he goes first. Because he might move closer to me. I think this mech already went, but I'm going to reserve again and let him go. Because the one thing I don't want to have happen is spot him. And then have him move and grab the evasion again. That would just be annoying. So, all right. We now got you. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump jet you again. I want to keep you somewhat out of the fight. Copy that. But I want you in the forest. Also, I think you're behind a wall, so I don't think he has a vision on you. And here's the other thing about this. Now that we have the sensor lock, I can see him. He can't see me. What do we actually have here? What kind of tank mech are you? Trebuchet. Oh, snap. <laughs> that one sounds scary. Oh, yeah. And he's freaking armored and he is freaking big. Look at his arm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared. So right now, what do we have? The MG's the punch. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, you know what would be great right about now? EPC. <laughs> so we can jump here. That's going to give us four evasion. And then we can go crazy with all our weapons. And we're going to be in the water. But if we jump here, we can only hit with those guys. So I think we are going to jump in range. Just so we can unload with everything we have. I think so. This is water, right? Yes. Okay. Fire everything. Commencing alpha strike. I don't mind you blowing up that arm. That would be okay. We did quite a bit of damage. He doesn't appear to have as much armor as some of the other ones. Um. I think once again, we're going to go over here. And I may actually try focusing down that right side. Because he does have quite a few missiles over there. And if I could destroy this right side, that would be great. Okay, he does have another mech incoming. You have an AC-5. Let's not forget that AC-5 is pretty much just as powerful as the PPC. Actually, I think it's... 
No, the PPC was 50, wasn't it? Do we want to spot down his right side? His precision strike it? 22%. 29%? We hit it twice. We can actually blow it up and get rid of quite a bit of his weaponry. Because he's got a lar Ooh, God, he's got a large... Then the M medium laser. I think we're going to... I think we focus that. 30% chance. Also is going to lower his initiative. I think we got it. No, we did not. Yeah, we did. Okay. And we got an injury. So we took out quite a f quite a bit of his um, um, firepower. Standing by. And... Lifting off. Uh, and we lowered his initiative. So I think this is fine. I think we're in a good spot right now. And we're just going to hit with everything we have. Our center's all fine, so yeah, let's just fire. You're actually hitting that side. Which is fine. Doing a little bit of damage there. Doing a little damage to the legs. Okay, so next enemy turn, he's going to get to go before me. And he's probably going to get to spot me. Or he's probably going to get to shoot me. So I think, once again, we are going to reserve you. Now, this is where he's at. He's in uh, two, so... Actually, both of these mechs are going to come in here. Uh, he's got a Locust. You're not going to last long. That did nothing. <laughs> Bring it on, dude. But please don't hurt my big guy. Uh, so once again, the question is, do we want to focus you down? I think so. So in that case, I should probably bring Decker up here to actually do some shooting and murdering. We do have quite a bit of hit potential over here. So it seems to be 65 no matter where we go. Unless we went way out there, which is out of range. So in that case, let's stay as far away as possible, right on the outside range. And I think I'm just going to go for the shoot. Because my goal is to bring, uh, take his big tank down this turn. If I can take his big uh, mech down, then I don't have to worry about it on uh, his turn. We'll fire everything. A lot of misses. Uh, but then again, we did have, what, 65 on most everything. So, just do a little bit of damage, please. Uh, we do get the aggressive for just standing still. The guarded. But we could also jump and get in a forest. How was your heat? But we are in water right now. I think maybe we just keep that guarded. We could once again spot this down. I can't punch you, right? Just really quick. No. I think we focus down his left side then. Is that going to leave him without any weaponry? That would leave him without any weaponry if I blow this up. We can't precision strike. Dang it. Yeah, we don't have enough morale. All right, fire everything. I want you to hit more on that side. So we did the we did get an LRM 15 grit. He's also unsteady. Actually, you know what's funny about this now that I think about it? Oh god, he's got a lot of mechs. Ah, ah, that's gonna hurt. Thank god for our armor. Uh he has too many mechs. That's kind of a problem. What can I do for you? I don't know if he has any weaponry now. So if we win all the way over here, we're still going to have shots on everything. But now they no longer have shots on me. I think I'm okay with that. Although, I kind of want to put her in a position where she is taking some shots because... Yeah. Because she hasn't taken any damage yet. Can we... We can't precision strike, so hopefully we can kill this section off. His LRM-15 looks like it's blown up. I don't know what happens when it says it's critted. If it's still working or not. Let's keep hitting that section. Wow, we missed a lot of shots. We missed a lot of shots on that one. That's okay. unfortunate. I'm actually going to bring her forward so she can take some hits. Maybe. There's 80% right there. 
80, 85. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. Hopefully she can take some of the tanking away from our Centurion. And she could probably run up and punch him next turn. I can't precision strike. Dude's at like no HP right there. We'll fire with the missiles too, because it doesn't really matter. Heat's not an issue. If we can get this guy, even, nah, one missile. I was like, even if we can get a couple missiles, I think it's worth it. So he's really hurt at this point. Unfortunately, he's still going to be able to shoot. Missiles aren't going to do anything to me. We have a high enough evasion. Uh, probably need to... Oh, that was actually the Blackjack. That wasn't me. He's moving back because he has a long-range missile. And he did shoot our, our Shadowhawk, which is what we wanted to see. <sighs> okay. I think we reserve again. For the right he's going to get two units to go. I just don't see our Jenner going. Because he's going to be pretty late, so... Oh, man, I hate that. Freaking PPC, man. So this should be all the enemy units. So it looks like it's a 4v4. So you actually got to move three units. I had our Shadowhawk. Okay. Now, should be all of my units get to go? This Locust is going to die really quick. So that's not going to be an issue. Ready for orders. Can't punch you, dang it. Can't punch you, dang it. Orders. Nor can I punch you, dang it. You have two evasion. Orders. I think we jump here and we go hard still on him. Our heat's fine. It's going to give us four evasion, which is going to make it a little easier for me to avoid, hopefully, some of these longer range shots. And I think we can get lucky and kill this. And we want to put ourselves... God dang it. We want to put ourselves close enough. Ah, so close. We want to put ourselves close enough that we can hopefully... Um... Ooh, they have a tank too. Uh, punch. Waiting for orders. Can't believe we can't punch you. We can jump on you, but I don't really want to jump on you. I think we do the same thing. Roger that. She did take a little bit of damage. Our armor's not in a great spot, but it's not in a terrible spot either. The downside is I might just have opened myself up to a flank. God, we're so close to putting him down. Locking in all weapons. All right, we got the right arm destroyed. Unfortunately, we want the torso destroyed is what we really are hoping for. Uh, this guy's also new, and this guy's also heavy. And there's our PPC. Okay, so we found where the PPC guy is. What's up, boss? I'm really wishing we had all four, <laughs> or, or we were able to get all of the, um, we had three, uh, da da da, I can't think. Three scrap, three salvage. Ah, oh, this is another heavy tank, man. And what are you? You're a locust. Okay. I think we need to jump you in the water. Because your heat's getting a little high. I'd rather keep you in the forest for the guarded, but... Mmm, it's gonna overheat. So, we'll have to turn off probably, what, one medium laser? We should be fine. We're so close. We hit the center torso. Oh my god, he's so close. If I could freaking get a, a, a shot on it, like a um, called shot, he would be dead. All he has left is the missiles, so... Which he can't hit with because my evasion is so high. Uh, keep jumping, man. Keep jumping. Alright, so I think I need you up here. Your heat is going to be really bad. So, we're just going to move you forward. Because I need to shoot with pretty much everything. And if I jumped, I wouldn't be able to. So, he's down to freaking 51 HP. If I could call shot in that middle, man, 
So he's down to... Alright, so all he has left now... Right torso. Yeah, so he should have no weapons left at this point. If I could call shot, he would be dead. Evasion. Okay, we didn't get the evasion on that one. So we'll jump her back. Probably bring our blackjack forward. I think we need to leave you here because your heat's so high. I don't know if we're going to be able to get as much evasion. So I think let's leave you where you're at and let their locusts go. He has another ta another mech. You got to be freaking kidding me. This is not a one and a half skull. I am sorry. This is not a one and a half skull. They have freaking five mechs in the tank. And at least two heavy mechs with at least two PPCs. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for with the evasive. I mean, the thing is, as long as we don't take too much damage, we should be fine. Waiting for orders. So give me two evasion. Unfortunately, we're going to be in the wrong, pointing in the wrong direction. Should be fine, something like this. Now, because I want to move her back. That was the whole point. That's not going to give me any evasion, which is not good. All right, we'll go over here. That's fine. On my way. I think we can finish off the trebuchet here. Then are we going to go for the griffin? I think we're going to take out the locust. Um, only reason I'm fucking... Oh, he has three HP, man. So all we need Firing is one hit. Follow. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on those little guys because the little guys are kind of the annoying ones because they can just do damage to me um, where the big guys take a lot of hits. So while those big guys are tanking, those little guys are essentially peppering me with damage. So I'd very much love to like come punch you, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I could come punch you here, 95%. Your heat is so high, I think we do it. He has no HP in the front. Acknowledged. If we can punch him, we can call a shot on his middle torso. Good. So we exposed it looks like the center. So that means we should be able to call a shot on that center and probably kill him. Ah, we're good. We're good. Just as long as they're not getting lucky shots on me, I think Waiting I'm feeling you, okay. Commander. can only get one freaking I would like to come back if possible so we can get a slightly more favorable shot but this isn't going to give me any moves which means we need to move the blackjack forward we could also jump our heat is fine so you know what? Let's jump here. Get the evasion bonus. That's going to put me centered. So we should be able to precision strike his center and kill him. Yeah. Yeah. This is almost overkill. Really, honestly, this is pretty much overkill. So let's turn the AC5 off. Save our ammo. Good. <sighs> All right, one little one down. So, like I said, I think we want to almost focus on his other tanks over here. I hear ya. So, give me one evasion, and it's gonna put her a little, a uh, little out there, because I'd rather them start shooting at her. So I think we want to. Multi-target is what it appears. Actually, do something. Well, we can't even hit you. So let's go A, B. So we want A on our two long range. And that should hopefully kill you because it'll hit to the front. 
It's going to do 50 damage, and unfortunately, he has 52 HP, so no, that won't get the kill. That sucks. <laughs> and then we're going to laser you with all these other guys, which should do some damage. Uh -huh. Okay, good. We got lucky. Got the kill. I don't know how it works, because he should have lived, but we missed with one of our lasers, so we missed an 85-er. So now he's down to three mechs, one locust, uh, one medium to heavy medium, and I don't know what this other one is. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Missile damage doesn't matter to me. So both of these guys, it's probably another locust, to be honest. What are we looking at right now? We have three evasion charges still, so let's let's hit reserve. I wouldn't mind running up and punching again. It's a panther. That sucks. He's got a bunch of heavy range weaponry over there. Many more hits like that. Yeah, that is that's a problem. That panther's a problem. That panther's a problem. Okay. So glitch is pretty hurt. Uh, she just hurt the arm. That's fine. Okay. I thought it was center torso that they might have been hitting. I can't get you forward to hit. The panther is a lot lighter. Sixty, sixty, sixty. Yeah, I think we jump over here. We actually have the mountain protecting us. The downside is if he flanks us, which is definitely a possibility. So let's do something like this. And we're going to go hard on the panther. The locust I'm less concerned about. This panther with all his long range crap is a problem, definitely. Roger. So hopefully we can hit. We miss most of our shots. <laughs> uh, I forgot he has a PPC too, which is a problem. God dang it. I have to move Behemoth at this point. Because she's hurt. We need to get our evasion back up. Uh, basically, I can't... Uh, actually, no, they still have one more go before, so yeah. Yeah, we want to go over here. Where's the PPC at? It's that right arm. So we really want to get that right arm dead. I'm going to take the 50. We exposed the right arm, so that PPC is getting close to being dead. So I would like to finish off his right arm if possible. Man, I can't jump in the water without... Then we're not going to be able to shoot. I hate this. I hate moving her forward. Although, in the scheme of things, Behemoth is the one that's injured, so we should probably keep her a little further back. That doesn't give me hardly any evasion charges. Really, all I need is one shot to hit uh, his arm, and that PPC's gone. Commencing alpha strike. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, so PPC's gone, which means we can now work on maybe those other two mechs, because we do have the PPC that we have to worry about over here. And actually... Where is your PPC? You're also on the right arm. I think we go over here. Uh, the downside is that's not going to hit. Part of me wants to jump here so I can focus that PPC down. But then that exposes us a little bit. I also would very much love to come up here and shoot the crap out of them. You think he's going to come punch me? Can we hit him with the MG if we go right here? We actually can. So you know what? I'm actually going to do this, and we're going to use our MG too.
even if he comes punches me, I don't, I'm not too worried. So we want to hit, we want to multi-target. We're going to go A. And then I think we might as well, AC5 does 45 damage. 60% chance to hit. That would almost pretty much expose him for a kill. He only has uh, missiles at this point. So I really kind of feel like he is not too dangerous. So that's why let's go for B then. Let's go for the Locust. Then we're going to do a bunch of damage on him and then shoot over there. All right. <laughs> uh, I like seeing that. MG's cool. Oh, yeah. We just straight up uh, blew up his left arm. Nice. Hopefully, he had some weaponry there. So, we do have a tank. Tank is only going to shoot missiles, so not too concerning. Uh, shouldn't be too concerning. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, 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 we know. You already had armor breached. Question is, do I want to go and knock out his locust? kind of want to go and knock out his locust not gonna lie because we can see you right now we can't kill you unless we focus down his center where's his medium laser right here 25 50 75 100 so we do 100 damage we could one shot him we really could one shot him it's only 33 percent chance This exposes us in the back so badly. Dang. Because I really, 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 really want to get this kill. So what does he have over here? You know what? I think we're not we're going to stay here. It's going to be dangerous because we're not going to have any evasion charges, but I think we have a great chance to actually kill him. Now, so in that case we should actually move forward. And we will expose our back. Which is really freaking weak, but we will have two evasion. And he is still super armored. So in that case, let's stay here so we're not uh, likely to get flanked. We're going to shoot everything we have. And we're going to actually precision strike it. 30. Well, 80%. Well, no, actually, hold up, hold up. So we have a 33% chance to hit. So that means out of our five missiles, probably only two of them are going to do damage. Which isn't going to be enough to get the kill. So if we can't get the kill then, is it worth it? Can we put him on the ground? 60 damage. That means, no, that's not enough to kill him. Or knock him down. 56. If we could flank him, yes. We could actually flank him. So, you know what? No, we're going to reserve. We have five evasion charges. I don't think he's going to go for me, though, which is the thing. But I might be able to... Ah, oh, he did go for me. And actually, he just moved within punch range. So, there you go. In this case, I should maybe hold off then. Because if I can kill this other guy... Ah, dang it. If I can kill this other guy, or at least neuter him, then I can move forward without any worries. The thing is, I can also come up here and just punch with Decker. He still has a lot of HP, though, and my melee is not that great. Good to go. Blackjack, however, she can't make it. <laughs> We're too slow to go Good punch, to go. man. Uh, so I think we instead want to go punch. We do 90, we do 70 damage, plus another 15. This won't get a kill. It's 
PPC is right there. We might actually just be able to uh, precision strike him down. Got 30% chance. All we need to do is 120 damage. 45, uh, 50. I think we do this. I think we precision strike here. Because if we can get rid of this PPC... We missed. Terribly. We also knocked him back in initiative, which I think is fine. So, okay. Well, let's come over here. I think this is fine. It wasn't great, but I think it's okay. Um, I'm just trying to get that PPC down. The problem is I don't have another... See? Okay. Maybe I do want more, more morale for our guys, because this would be so much better. God, he barely took any damage over there. We're going to shoot the LRM, too. Maybe I should have gone for the punch then to unsteady him and knock him over. Well, I think we screwed that up. What's up, boss? I could jump on him and knock him over, but... Good to go. We're going to jump her back so she gets a little more safety. So now they can't see her. Because she's getting a little scary HP wise. And we can't shoot with everything, obviously. But okay, that's still most of it. So we might actually be able to... Affirmative. Depends on what kind of damage. Ah, we exposed his structure. So he's close. He's close, but not quite there. I think I might actually want to just move you back. I wish we could see how much heat this would all take. I'm going to move back because I think I can blow his PPC up before he goes. 42 damage. So we need to hit with two lasers on his side. I think we did it. I think we did it. Ah! <laughs> it's, uh, that means he has like one HP left. Uh, he, he's seriously down to like less than 10 right now. Ow. Mm, our evasion was pretty low with him. He's going to get behind me. That's unfortunate. Oh, he actually didn't attack me. He moved and hit her. With the PPC. With the freaking PPC, man. <sighs> freaking heck, man. Can't actually hit you. He's got 22 HP, man. What's your back armor look like? He doesn't do a lot of damage punching. So that's why I think we just come back here and we shoot hard. We shoot hard and hopefully expose his back. Uh, hey, we created the PPC. Downside with that is I think we did um, our damage was a little too spread out to really make good use of that. Our behemoth's in kind of an awkward spot right now. Really me. I'm the one that really needs to be doing, uh, taking the damage right now. Luckily, all they really have is missiles at this point, so... They destroyed a heat sink. Well, that sucks. That actually really kind of sucks. Commander. So, I need to knock him out before... This is risky, because if we don't get the kill, he gets to probably go and potentially uh, kill Behemoth, or at least put her down. But I think he has no HP back there. I should be able to do this. This should be a kill. Woo! Achievement unlocked. Just getting started. Uh, Destroy 50 mechs. Okay, okay. All right, so now with Behemoth, we need to jump her way the freaking heck back. We're not going to have any shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We'll come back here and go for the Panther. Probably. The Locust has... Uh, I mean, the Locust is such an easy kill at this point. If I can hit him in the center. The problem is because of that evasion charge, not really. So maybe we should just focus this guy dead. But he's at full HP. It's just I can hit him a lot more efficiently. All weapons, go. And I miss with all my freaking shots. I literally miss with everything except a couple missiles. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Hmm. Not really sure what I should do with her. What's nice is where we're at right now, we can only be shot by this guy. Unfortunately, we're just not doing a lot of anything. And here's the thing. We would, actually, we would not be overheating. If we turned on the medium laser, we would be overheating. And I don't know, see if I move up here, then all of a sudden we get hit by both. Moving to position. That's fine, because we probably need to protect Behemoth right now anyways. She doesn't really, she can't really afford the damage either, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost could actually knock him down if I hit his legs. Is the medium laser? Turn you off, turn you on. Our heat's fine. So we can basically shoot every weapon every round except the one. Got the right torso. So he's at two injuries or three injuries at this point. Yeah, I'd rather you not shoot Blackjack, but I'd rather you shoot Blackjack than Behemoth. <laughs> sure. That got through my armor, Commander. Yeah, I know. You've been through your armor for quite some time now. Good to go. Man, I really can't get over here. Actually, move you up here. Unfortunately, that's not in the heat. So I think we go over here. Or we go for spotting. He's fine on HP, so that's why I think I'd rather move him over here. But that Locust is probably going to move forward, and then I might be able to... Eh, I'm probably not going to be able to punch you. He's too far away. Move order received. Shoot my Jenner. Bring it on, I dare you. Can't really do enough damage to get the kill, so I think we need to focus you down. Yeah, his other arm is pretty weak. Where are those SRMs? The M ammo's right there. Where's the SRM? Center? It's in the center. Uh, I think if we actually explode him, that's going to be another injury, and I think he might die. Because he's only a recruit, so he should only have 3 HP. Or are we just going to miss with every freaking shot? Oh! <laughs> that was bad! That was like... We missed probably one or two 70s on that. I really think we missed one or two 70s on that. I think you missed. I don't know you actually did any damage. Okay, so it's time to bring me into this fight. And we should very easily be able to get a kill here. Let's go. I think we're getting to the point in the game where we're going to take damage no matter what we do. So... All we need is like two things to hit this side right here. He's actually going to not have any PPC ammo then. We destroyed his leg. We destroyed his left torso. We incapacitated him. He's down. We did enough. We got enough injuries. So I probably didn't need to use all those shots, but that's fine. I think we're going to jump you away just so we can get the evasion charges, even if we can't shoot as much. Just because I need those evasion charges. Uh, so we definitely don't want to shoot everything. I'll be fine. Right, Commander. That tank's going to be nothing, so... We may want to talk about getting Decker up to do some damage. Standing by. Once again, very much want to 
Jump away. Your heat is fine. I just need you to live, so I want as much evasion as possible. Maybe actually probably should have jumped in the forest so we can gain the guarded. Now the downside is she's not getting the reduced damage because we're moving her every turn, but I think that's fine. Can we put you down? Ooh, we might actually just be able to precision strike your leg down. 18%. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think I, I just, nah, I don't think we can do it. We do have a lot of missiles. Destroyed his right arm. I don't think with 18% chance, I just don't think we would have been able to do it, so. Yeah, shoot at me. Shoot missiles at me all day long, please. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with Decker. And I think I can precision strike him his leg and put him on the ground. This is a complex freaking match. So we want precision strike. 50% chance with more well, a lot of 80s. So yeah, he should be down. We also got his left torso and we injured him. Um, Should have gotten one, maybe two injuries. I think we got two injuries on him. So he's really hurt at this point. That also knocked him out of moving. So he did. Yeah, he did. So we're going to move forward and we're going to shoot at both of these guys, I think. Yeah, we can MG this guy. Good, 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 good. I think we're getting better, even though this one's not going as well as we would hope. So he is probably going to die on the A. Put you on B. Put you on A. All we need is five damage on him. Let's do the missiles too. And then everything else, let's put on B. Oh. Oh, because they're short range missiles. Eh. Yeah, let's put everything else except these missiles on B. Oh, and the MG. Yeah, it's a little overkill, but that's fine. Good, 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 good. With all those missiles, we only needed one to actually hit. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope, barely. Commander? All right, glitch. We should be able to get the kill here. So we're hitting on this side. So we want to do the damage to the front because that would get the kill. If we can hit with both of these on the front. Firing on target. Eh, nope. That's fine, because also lowered her initiative, his initiative, so. Acknowledged. Unfortunately, he's kind of facing sideways, so this is a little hard to hit. And all we have is long range stuff right now. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, we did it. We took slight injuries and slight damage to quite a few of our mechs. Um, I'm assuming our mechs are probably going to be out for like 10 days. The downside is we are going to be without, who was it, Behemoth? No, I think it was Glitch. I think she got injured. So contact increase, payment increased by 20% because we did um, uh, both uh, successes on both. So that actually made us 232,000, which should be good for us. Blackjack did take... Quite a bit of actually uh, damage. Shadowhawk also took quite a bit of damage too. So these guys might be out for a little while. So we may not end up doing the other mission. We may just end up going to uh, the priority mission just because of how long these guys will be out potentially. And once again, it's Behemoth. God, she gets injured so often. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So, oh man, they have one trebuchet, one griffin. We could grab two panther parts. But the panther's only 35 tons, so I don't really want the panther. So, yeah, we're going to grab the griffin and the trebuchet. Just going to put us one and one. What weapons do they have? PPCs. Man, hopefully we can get a PPC. Give me a PPC. Give me a PPC. We got another long-range missile. Dang. Dang. I want another PPC. Yeah, those PPCs, dude, are nice. Not going to lie. The downside is, of course, they use a lot of heat, and they're straight on only. 
So Behemoth's out for 14 days, and our Vindicator uh, work in progress is 9 days. We actually have to come here to the mech bay and say repair. And we're going to want to bump both of these guys up. Repair. 5 days, 13,000. We have to refit it, because... Gotcha. We had to refit it, because it actually lost one of the heat sinks. Yeah, so you're going to go out there, and then we need a heat sink there. So that's going to take two days. Are you going to repair it in that time? I actually don't know. So we want to manage. Let's put you up top, Shadowhawk. Let's put the repairing the blackjack next. So two days, seven days. And then Vindicator, we were uh, reinstalling. Okay, so next episode. Oh, we don't have that other mission here anymore now. Hmm, okay, okay. And these actually, oh, no, no, no. These are both here still. Okay, no, no, we actually have an extra one. These are both one star. This is a desert and it's Ulton, which is 14 days away. I think we may probably end up doing one of these other missions. Yeah, it's on the way as well. So I guess we're slowly working our way over there. I don't know if there's any advantage to doing all these, uh, except, I mean, we're potentially getting, I definitely don't want to do that one. Yeah, definitely not going to do that one. Not at two and a half stars, but I think we will knock out probably both of these one stars. We'll want to wait though. We get max salvage four, man. I think so. I think we're going to do this one next episode. But for now, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.